How will Eleven recover her powers in the next season of Stranger Things? In the last season of Stranger Things, something unexpected happened. Eleven, the series hero, lost her powers shortly after she was attacked by the Mind Flare. This event created many questions, since her powers are a key piece to counteract the evil forces of the Mind Flare and other entities from the Upside Down world. How will the team of Hawkins confront the threat from this other world? How will Eleven get her powers back? Before we attempt to answer any of these questions, we must first understand a little bit more about how Eleven's powers work. There is no exact explanation about how her powers work, but there are some clues throughout the series that can help us better understand them. One of the most common demonstrations of Eleven's powers is her telekinesis. This ability is not of supernatural origins, because on several occasions we see that scientists experimenting with her and getting consistent results. We see that Eleven's brainwave patterns are being monitored. When she uses her powers, she exhibits brainwaves with a low amplitude but a high frequency pattern. These waves are called beta waves, and are what the brain exhibits when it's highly stimulated. In the series, we can see how the experiments she was subjected to were of high stress in order to cause a high emotional state, and therefore, having her brain produce those beta waves. Similarly, when she demonstrates her greatest powers is when she is going through an extreme emotional situation, like when she has to protect her friends. But then why? If her powers come from her brain, why did she lose them after she was attacked by the Mind Flare? Well, that's because one of the Mind Flayer's abilities is to control people's bodies and their minds. When a person falls victim to the Mind Flayer, it can tamper with the person's memories, create false ones, and maybe even erase them. As Eleven saw when she dived into Billy's mind, the Mind Flayer changes organisms at a biological level, so it can use them for its plans. When the Mind Flayer attacked Eleven, it inserted one of its tentacles into her leg, Though Eleven removed it, it had already begun to change her, preventing her brain from working as before, and therefore denying the use of her powers. But if this is the case, that a biological change occurred within Eleven, and now she can no longer use her powers, does this mean that it is permanent? Maybe not. Maybe for Eleven, this change is just going to make it very difficult for her to be able to access her powers like before. She was trained to use them under certain conditions, but now, those methods of how she accesses them could be different. However, there is a way, the only one I would say, of how Eleven will be able to use them again. And that is Hopper. If she saw Hopper alive and in imminent danger, perhaps at the mercy of the Demogorgon, the one that we saw at the end of the third season is surely the same one from the first season. All those emotions and thoughts are what's going to make her beta wave soar, and thus be able to access her powers once again. Because maybe, she never really lost them to begin with. This may very well be the only way she is able to return to the way she was, and how Hopper comes back. Hopper's return in the next season is all but guaranteed because this would be the perfect trigger for Eleven's powers. Tell me what you think. Do you believe that Eleven will get her powers back in the next season? And if so, how will it happen? Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.